I'm greatly honoured to participate in this what, 21st century challenge. My name's Trevor Bayliss, and perhaps you may not know, but I invented the wind-up radio. People often ask me, how did it all come about? It was pure chance. I happened to be sitting here, where I am now, in fact, looking at my television. And uh, I could have been watching Come Dancing or The Golden Shot, but in fact I was watching a program about the spread of HIV AIDS in Africa. And this was really, really dramatic. And I almost turned it over to another program, but I listened long enough because they said the only way they could stop this dreadful disease cutting its way through all these people was with the power of information and education. But there was a problem. The most effective way to get information to people was through radio. But, alas, alas, because most of Africa doesn't have electricity, the only other form of electricity was in the form of batteries, which were horrendously expensive. People were bartering their maize and their rice in order to obtain batteries, and where do you get batteries? So I'm just sitting here thinking about this, and then I can, well, very instantly, I can imagine myself in the old days when we used to have a wind-up um, gramophone with a big horn on the top, and I thought, look, hang on, hang on. If you can get all that noise by dragging a rusty nail around a piece of old Bakelite using a spring, surely there's enough power in that spring to drive a small dynamo, which in turn will drive a radio. And then, because my workshop out here, my studio as I call it, is the graveyard of a thousand domestic appliances, I was able to find a cheap transistor radio and a small DC motor, which I realise when running reverse becomes a dynamo. And I put that into the chuck of a hand brace. I turned the handle, having joined the two wires to the back of that cheap transistor radio, and I, in fact, generated the first bark of sound. And that was within top half an hour of watching that amazing program on television. And that really is how the wind-up radio got, got started.